So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology, how to activate beast mode on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This will also apply if you have the S22 or the S22 Plus. So we're gonna begin with the very first one, which is to go to your settings, scroll all the way down to where you see about phone. I'm gonna have to cover this up because there is some personal information. You'll scroll right here to where it says software information. It's right above battery information. You'll click on that. Once you click on that, you're gonna go to this area that does say the build number. So once you see that build number, go ahead and click on that multiple times. So go ahead and punch in your passcode. And once you did that, you'll be able to see developer options all the way at the bottom of settings. It'll be all the way down here. Go ahead and click that. Once you're in there, they're now on. Let's go ahead and scroll down, scroll down, keep scrolling until you find right here, the window animation scale, transition and animator duration. Now, you can choose between 0.5 or off. Now off is kind of a little bit choppier looking, but it still makes it very fast, but I usually go to 0.5X. You can turn it all the way off if you want the fastest actual experience, but essentially what this is gonna do is make it very fast to pop into applications and the animations just speed up a whole bunch when you go ahead and do this. So that's the first tip to go ahead and enable those. Now the next one you can do if you want is, if you want even further, go, to, go here and just type in in the search in settings just type in animation and you'll see right here under accessibility, you can go ahead and remove the animations altogether if you want even more. So even there, it'll be even quicker. You'll see right there, that's similar to, you know, that's kind of similar to when you just turned off all the way, but you can just see how quick that got. And man, is it a beast when you go ahead and do that for sure. So definitely very fast when you go ahead and do that. So keep that in mind if you want incredibly fast animations, enable that option right there. It will help out quite a bit. The next one you can do, if you want it even faster, is go up into your quick panel, scroll over, and if you can't find it, you might have to add it, but look for the processing speed. You'll see it up here. Actually, I'm having a little bit of trouble finding it. It's right here, processing speed right there. Click that, and you'll see you have the ability to change it between optimized, high, and maximum. Now, if you wanna go all out, for the short term, put it on maximum, but if you want it to be a beast, leave it there. It will drain some battery, I do warn you, and it can cause heating, but man, will it be a beast. I usually leave it on high though, because it's kind of in between. If you want just a balanced speed, leave it on optimized, but you're not gonna get that extra performance boost if you don't do this. So do it at your own risk, but at the same time, again, you want it to be a beast, I'm, I'm showing you how to make this thing even faster on the day to day. The next one is to enable the swipe down for the quick panel. So the quick panel, sometimes you gotta reach up here and you, you, it could slow you down a little bit. Let's go to settings here on the home screen. So if I was going too fast, hold down on the home screen anywhere. Click settings here on the bottom right corner, scroll down until you see right here, it'll say swipe down for notification panel. If we go ahead and click that, now you can easily swipe down to get the notification panel. Swipe again, it'll come all the way down. So it avoids you having to go up here and just makes the experience feel a little bit faster to get to what you're doing, like very quickly. And then you could just swipe up if you wanna go to the search, like all of the phone, you can just, instead of swiping down, you just swipe up to search the entire phone. Okay, so the next one is the side key settings. So again, in settings, hit the search and just type in side key, it's easier than trying trying to go find it right in the settings where it can be kind of hidden. It'll say advanced feature, so it's that, that's the section it's under. Click that right there, and then you'll see it right down there. It'll give you a little highlight to show you. It's right there. Then you're gonna go ahead and put press and hold to power off menu, unless of course you use Bixby all the time, but I'm, I'm guessing a lot of you use the Google search more. Go ahead and put power off menu. Why am I saying this? Cause it makes it faster and more of a beast to turn it off if you need to turn it off in a quick pinch. You don't wanna be playing around with this double, you know, two button press, that gets annoying. Let's just hold it down and we'll be able to power it off really quickly now. You see that? Very quickly to restart and things like that. If you have any issues, any hiccups, it'll be a little bit easier to do that and faster. So I always enable that as well. The next thing you can do is go into settings here and we'll go to display settings. We'll scroll down, scroll down until you see right here, accidental touch protection. Now this will stop you from having, you know, these accidental presses that slows down your experience, so enable that. The next one is 
missing the tap because the screen's not being sensitive, especially if you put a screen protector on, you'll wanna go ahead and enable the touch sensitivity mode. It'll make it more sensitive to the touch, a little bit of a more, you're just not gonna have mispresses more often. So that's a good thing to make it a little bit more beast mode as well. The next one is gonna reside within the security and biometrics. So we're gonna go ahead and have our face is registered here. Um, if you want, if you if you're really concerned about the security, and so here in biometric face recognition data, we'll go. You'll see right here. I'm, I'm gonna have you enable the face now. If you're concerned about security and you just want to use the fingerprint, which is more secure, you can skip this step. But if you're willing to have more speed, you'll turn on face unlock. Have the stay on screen until swipe off because you don't want to have to swipe the screen. That's two step like the iPhone. You don't want that. And then right here, faster recognition, which is less secure, but it depends on on how much that matters to you. How often are people grabbing your phone? If not, look how fast you can unlock this phone. You just look at it and bang, it's just in instantly. So that's gonna be what that'll enable for you. Now also back within biometrics and security, I don't really have to go into the section, but in fingerprints, I recommend you set up your thumb twice on the fingerprint sensor on both thumbs. So this side and this side, it, what it does is it enables it to be a lot faster and more accurate. I almost never miss on the Galaxy S22 Ultra when I do this. The next one is in motions and gestures. So I searched up here, tap two. So you can search that in the settings search. In most in, in motions and gestures, you're gonna wanna turn on double tap to turn off screen and double tap to turn on screen. What this will allow you to do is if you can't reach the power button, you could just double tap like that and go like that. Sometimes you got your hands busy and you, you just don't wanna reach over for that. You can go ahead and do this as well. Now there's lift to wake as well where the phone will kind of just appear. I don't have that on, but it'll appear when you lift the phone up. So that could help you out there as well. But sometimes you just not have the ability to do that. So just double tap you'll be able to turn on the screen, makes it faster. So a lot of features in here to speed up the experience. The next one is in settings. We're gonna go down to battery and device care. Now, when we get in battery and device care, I want you guys to go here to this three dot menu where it says automation right here, click that. You'll see right here, it does do an auto optimize daily. Now you could turn that off if you want, but I recommend leaving that on. Here's what I wanted to mention, auto restart at set times. So go ahead and click on this and pick a day where you want at least once a week to restart the phone automatically. What this will do is refresh the system, clear some cache, let it run more smooth. If you want it to run amazing all the time, maybe you do it two or three times a week, it'll do even better. The next one, let's go back into settings because most of these are in settings. The next one has to do with the game booster settings. It's game optimization, but you're gonna type game booster settings right here. Scroll down and I don't recommend leaving this one in performance unless you're playing games. So this one kind of applies to those people who are playing games a lot. Click on game optimization and then click on performance this can cause battery drain and stuff like that, so keep that in mind. I leave it on standard, but put it in performance if you want it to be more of a beast in gaming. That definitely will help you out there quite a bit. But again, it, it could cause heating and you know drain of battery. So if you're looking for more battery, I would steer clear of that one, but this is beast mode. This is not battery mode right here. The next one is kind of a bonus tip. It's not really something you have to do, but I recommend if you want a less choppy scroll on the home screen, sometimes this thing can get a little choppy, the Samsung free and the Google discover. You could just swipe over and turn this off and simply you won't have to deal with that at all. But if you like those features, which a lot of people do, there's some content in here and content in here. Um, this is not really something that's gonna speed you up too much, but you won't have to deal with that accidental swipe over on the home screen. So just pinch in, just pinch in, swipe over and turn that off if you don't wanna deal with that little delay from loading up that content. The next tip I have is to set your favorite app pairs over here. Now, how do you do this? Well, you're gonna go ahead and let's say you wanna put a couple apps, go to all apps, find the ones you want. So let's say I want the calculator and I want the Google Calendar. So let me go ahead and grab the Google Calendar right here. You'll drag the Google Calendar here. Then you'll click these two right here and you see this little plus icon right here. You'll tap plus. Now it'll set that app pair over there. We'll swipe out of there. And now you'll be able to get to this app pair very easily. This app pair was created down here. Instead of having to constantly put two apps side by side, you'll just tap that, bang, you're in, no problem. Easy, split screen multitasking very fast. So the last tip I have for you is kind of a bonus. It's not really gonna speed up the phone. It's just gonna speed up your experience depending on what 
you like to do. So we're gonna go into settings, hit the search bar, put in navigation gestures here. You can do the navigation bar if you want down there. Go down to this area. Now what I want you to do is play around with the different combinations, the buttons, the swipe gestures, find out what your brain registers as the easiest way to get around this phone. Because believe it or not, you know, I don't personally like home buttons anymore. I like gestures now. Like my brain just automatically is just used to swiping. If you're used to the buttons and you have gestures on, you're gonna have a problem. So definitely consider that it can speed up your experience specifically. So that's basically how to activate beast mode. And believe me, if you do these tips, you're gonna notice this phone just feels really punchy. I will say though, that if you're into the smoother animation, you like to see that very smooth transition. You're not gonna like this. It's, it makes it a little bit more blazing quick, but not as buttery smooth looking with the transition. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for a slower animation, you could just slow your animation down and then it will be less of a beast, but it will be, you know, definitely a little bit more pleasing visually. So let me know your thoughts on this one. Do you have any extra tips on how to activate beast mode for Samsung devices? Let me know down below in the comments. It helps out the community. And if you just got your S22 Ultra, which color did you go with? I'm interested to know because they have those special colors and those are still arriving to some people's doorsteps. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.